Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. The decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China, Ebo Wei. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, Kotaku Seth at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Let's go. Set the pace. You set the pace. Slips that left hand. Just missed with the left there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good punch, Lance. What a body kick. 
Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Try to establish that jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Let's get him down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Missed with that right hand. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, and he pops the kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Huge knee lands from close. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Now. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice punch lands over the top. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ball left hook to the head is blocked. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh! Just misses with the straight left hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. It's not over, it's not over. Right hand upstairs. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Effective strike there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He ate that kick. 
kick. He took that whole kick, yep. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Blocks the shot. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Big kick. Kick and just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts. That's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of things. He can't take any of those kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch here. Going for the head kick. No dice. Nice head kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right under the elbow, the body can land. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Exchange in the pocket here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. 
great punch landed to put his opponent down. Stop there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pants in the gym paid off. Now we're going to continue. Keep doing exactly what we're doing. Ready? Third round underway. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. <laughs> Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Clip with the right hand. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Oh, trying to turn out the light. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Three minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Good stick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just a slip there. Stay aggressive. Right punches there. And they separate. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Put your hands on oh, nice right hand. And they separate. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. No finish his fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Starting to do some really significant... Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Down land it clean. Oh, he... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And up with that And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.